All right. So Scott, we have a video for this. We have the vi a video for the first two tracks. Um, okay. This one's not a lot of frills, but it, it it's a little weird at times because it's it's showing them playing, and you know to understand thrash metal and to watch these artists just shredding at these strings and hitting those frets and everything like that is amazing. So we're getting to see that, but there's things like Gulf War imagery, Middle East armed Dude. conflict footage. Oh uh, yeah, and then I remember. Dave jumping out of a plane. Oh, I don't remember <laughs> so. that part. Uh, but I mean, I do, I can picture it now that you say that. I do, I, I, I should have watched the video. Imagine this too. I'm like in eighth grade or whatever. It's 1990, uh, you know what I mean? And like, that like this video dude I'm, like i don't know who these guys are right i like this is this is what i love about 1992 is like 1991 1990 1991 is where some of the best thrash albums came out period right the, the i mean well, maybe not considered thrash but uh Judas priest painkiller came out in 91 there's like uh sepultura arise uh, i mean there's just you name it there's it, that, so the many. heavy stuff is peaking it's so good right yeah and uh so anyways then uh so you're talking about the uh the holy wars um uh video dude and like I, the, I, yeah they're inside that uh airplane hangar or whatever and um i think for a lot of it and it's kind of flashy whatever but they just look so tough dude and so serious and it's flashing into this uh like you were saying like gulf war footage and all this stuff and then you've got like uh and then there's like little flashes of like Vic Rattlehead like moving around or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's just like this skull with like these weird uh I don't know, uh things over his mouth. I don't maybe he can't talk. I don't know what the deal is there, but well it, okay, uh, so so with Vic, that is and I'm calling it like our adventure here is the adventures of Vic Rattlehead as we go through this. It, he is the the skeletal figure on the on the covers. He shows up in some of the videos. Um but how he is put together, it is basically symbolic of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And oh, that's yeah, why he has the plate over his mat, over his mouth, the things over his eyes, and then kind of those metal plugs in his ears or yeah, where yeah, his got... ears would be. Yeah. Um, so I thought it was super cool to, to have that element. And they work him and his story into some of the tracks as well uh, yeah, on this album like... and others, which is pretty badass. I didn't think of that, but yeah, Vic Redhead's like a uh, Helen Keller almost. He's got like, yeah, can't, can't hear or see, and I guess he's mute too, maybe or I don't know. Well, yeah, and, and it's and it's really uh, so much me. of I guess the thrash metal, but definitely punk as well. What what they had in common was anti-establishment, and hey, you know, at church you can't tell me what to do. I can think for myself. So you get a lot of that. So I think that's where some of that, the elements of who he is became what the albums are with that see no evil, hear no evil and saying, Hey, you know what? This is going to be our person, but we're going to, we're going to drive this a different way right now. Yeah. I, uh, I, I haven't done a deep dive into uh, how that character came into uh, Mustaine's, you know, ethos or whatever, but I, uh, that's a that's that's a that's a good thing to check out because because he's I, he's on um, the very first cover so like he's been a part of the band of Megadeth since uh, since forever. Yeah, and I think uh, it's they, definitely the first four, and then he wasn't for a while, and then came uh, back again. No, no, no. He's oh no, maybe the, or maybe, maybe it's the right. first maybe seven. Right. Yeah, he's not on the cover of Countdown to Extinction. I wonder if he's in the yeah, and he's not on Euthanasia either. Oh my god. There we go, right? He he made a comeback on the world needs a hero, sort of. He's kind of it's kind of a weird version of him popping out of this dude's body. Yeah, dang. I guess uh, I it makes me wonder though. I need to. I, I another deep dive I could do is go go through the uh, the uh, other or the like the artwork inside of the albums. There, I wonder if he makes an appearance like just inside the artwork. You know, yeah. inside the well, and lyrics. This might be something that I look at after. How many people have? awesome tattoos or bad tattoos of that character i don't know uh, yeah i don't i don't know but i, I like i like rust in peace so much that i've been wanting to get a tattoo but i don't want to get just a straight up vic rattlehead i'm actually in the middle of getting a sleeve right now and i'm going to if you flip uh rust in peace over it's got that like uh uh like hazmat 
symbol with the three triangles. I'm going to yeah, get yeah. that squeezed in there somewhere. Very just cool. as kind of like a little tiny little yeah. Easter your, egg. Like, your homage there. Yeah, just a little negative <laughs> Easter egg. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, so this track, we've, we've got, you know, and again, it's almost two. And it was about Northern Ireland, Israel in the 90s. Yeah. But it was man this is appropriate today <laughs> it's, it's crazy yeah and I, like you know as a kid i don't know what he's talking about, right or maybe even as an adult i'm not really quite sure what he's talking about what side he's on what point he's making but as a kid i could tell that he was uh like i, I read that he kind of made some mistakes while he was over there in ireland like he um like that's kind of what made him uh he got like a kind of uh uh very washed idea of what was happening or like explanation of what was happening over there and he said something weird on stage and the whole crowd was just like what are you talking about yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so i guess he did some research and wrote uh wrote um the punishment do or whatever um or holy wars um and then the punishment do at the back end it is yeah. literally about the punisher the oh Marvel yeah that's character. right yeah, yeah 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 i read that too today so um that's cool, and I wonder if J John Bernthal, who who plays him, played him on Netflix, and I believe is coming to the Disney Plus series as well. I, I wonder if this is an album he knows or a song he knows because he plays that part. I don't know, but I, but man, I, this is a, like when you hear this song though, like when you put, like like imagine just buying this and not knowing what you're getting and then throwing it in and hearing these riffs, and also like. Like I said, it, it like it's kind of riff salad. Like you're getting riff after riff after riff, and they're all insane. I mean, like he goes to the point of jumping into the, like this Spanish guitar part or whatever, like in the middle, and then cuts to the heaviest thing you've ever. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, he's just all over the place with this, this thing. And a lot of times when people try to do that, it's almost like they're trying to throw too much into into the song, right? And it and it just sounds like a mess. This does not sound like a mess at all. It sounds perfectly set up no it, it is like he is a perfect race car driver up shifting and down shifting where other cars can't even keep up yeah yeah other cars don't even they don't even have like they're not even set up correctly don't have, like you know what i mean like they don't even know where to go to buy car parts you know no, like this is technically insane yeah. and, and i guess this track is listed as the 28th greatest metal song of all time by Rolling Stone for their top 100 that they did in 2023. So okay, I mean, I, I I'd argue with that it could be much much higher. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm but, I'm curious to go and and look and see. Okay, who else and where is everyone else sitting on this list? Yeah, if this is at 28 because it's insane. Who's better than that? What was that Rolling Stone? Because I yeah. guarantee there's like some there's probably like corn in there and all kinds of crap that, that <laughs> I, you know what I mean? That doesn't even need to bother being in the top of anything, but, uh, but I mean, dude, as far as songwriting goes, uh, this is mind blowing. It's, it's like worlds above what any, like what anybody's still doing, you know, or at least in my opinion, you know, this is all my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I think a lot of people share your opinion and there are, there are huge fans of this band, but especially this album. And part of that is because of track two, Hangar yeah. 18. Yeah. 